rejected the IT guy. Playing three blind mice. Don't tempt me. <laughs> I will. <laughs> you wait. I'll play it in your classroom like I did when I Rick rolled you the other day when you couldn't when you couldn't shut it off. It's already marked, unless that one's number two. Test, test.
Ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to uh, Charles Robinson Park and Billy Ted Bowling Field for uh, Sam's District 2A doubleheader between the uh, Rebels and the uh, Big League Robeson Breakers. <coughs> Here's the uh, start of lineup. Uh, opening contest for Wilberton. Leading off will be the pitcher, number seven, Lane Franklin. Batting second is catcher, number six, Aubrey Eichel. Batting third is the shortstop, number three, Grayson Mathis. Team cleanup and playing first base for Red Team, Braden Miller. Batting fifth in center field, number 20, J.J. Justice. Hitting sixth, the designated hitter, number 23, Bryce Payne. Batting seventh in right field, number five, Ralph Camacho. And hitting eighth, playing second base, number one, Garrett Bauckham. And batting ninth, the left field, number four, Nate Perkins. Number two, Jordan Miller. Starting lineup in game one today for Silo. Leading off will be shortstop, number 10, Tyler Proctor. Batting second, playing third base, number 22, Chase Corbin. Hitting third at first base, number 18, Ethan Ford. Batting fourth, the designated hitter, number five, Delton Roberts. Batting fifth and pitching, number double zero, Caden Connors. Hitting sixth and playing right field, number one, Mason Urbany. Batting seventh is the left fielder, number 14, Connor Cordell. Batting eighth and playing second base, number four, Will Farr. And batting ninth in center field, number six, Xander Marshall. Here are the catchers for the Rebels in game one, number three, Josh Strauss. Test, test, test. All right, again, everybody, it's uh, Silo Rebel uh, Baseball once again this afternoon in a rescheduled doubleheader for the uh, Rebels as they take on the uh, Wilburton Diggers in this District 2A8 contest. A doubleheader this afternoon for you. Glad right, you're along with us here on Silo Rebels. TV. So we get situated. Getting set for the uh, first pitch of uh, today's contest. On the mound for the uh, Rebels in game one is going to be Tegan Connery, the uh, senior right-hander. see on the uh, season for Tegan let's take a look at uh, his numbers 16 and a third innings this will be his uh, seventh appearance his sixth start three and one the uh, season record for Connery has allowed uh, 
11 runs, 6 earned on 9 hits. Struck out 17, walked 9, and hit 4. 2.57, the earned run average. And he'll make the uh, start. As uh, we get set here, Rebels take the uh, field. This uh, late scheduled contest uh, came about last night. As uh, moved up from uh, originally scheduled for next Monday. Connery takes his uh, warm-up tosses. Uh, defensive alignment for the uh, Rebels at third base is Chase Corbin. Short stops Kyler Proctor. Second baseman's Will Farr. At first base, Easton Ford. Behind the plates, Josh Trout. And the outfield, Connor Cordell starts in left. Xander Marshall is the center fielder and Mason Urbany in right. And we're just about set for the uh, first pitch. Leading off for the Diggers, pitcher Lane Franklin. So Franklin starts things against Connery. And here comes the opening pitch. It's a ground ball hit uh, to Chase Corbin at third. He'll field it cleanly, and the throw over is uh, in time. First out recorded. One pitch, one out. And there's the uh, a ball to the uh, next batter, batting catcher Aubrey Reichel. That one a uh, strike there. Ball's hit and play popped up. Right side over his Easton Ford, and he's going to make the uh, grab in foul territory for out number one, or for out number two, excuse me, out number two on that one. So the uh, pop out. And there's a, a strike. Adding a shortstop, Grayson Mathis. Two down quickly. Fly ball to uh, center field over is uh, Xander Marshall going to make the grab. A few steps to his uh, left, and the um, diggers are retired quickly in the uh, first inning. 
No runs. No hits. Six pitches for uh, Connery in the uh, first. Moving to the uh, bottom of the uh, first inning after uh, the uh, diggers go in order. Leading off for Silo will be the shortstop, Kyler Proctor. Proctor takes a uh, strike to uh, start things here. From the uh, pitcher, Franklin, and uh, there's a uh, ball. One on one the count here, bottom half of the uh, first inning. And that one sails inside. Count out two and one. And that one misses as well. It's three and one the count. On the mound, Lane Franklin for the uh, Diggers. And that pitch is smashed into a left field. Base hit for uh, Connor Proctor to get things going here in the uh, bottom of the uh, first inning. A leadoff single for uh, Proctor. Proctor had a couple of hits yesterday. He's hitting five, he was hitting 506. That brings up. Chase Corbin. Now batting third baseman, Chase Corbin. Corbin steps in against Franklin, and he will uh, take the first pitch high and tight. One and oh, the count. Check the runner at first. Here's the uh, next one, and it catches the outside corner. Called strike there. Evens it up at one and one to uh, Corbin. Rebels had their way on the uh, base pass yesterday. Twelve stolen bases in the uh, first game against Howe and nine in game two. And here goes Proctor. He's on the move. The pitch outside. Proctor sliding in safely. No tag as the ball got away. And uh, Proctor steals second base. First stolen base of the day. And the Rebels pick up where they uh, left off 24 hours ago. Franklin checks the runner. Here's the pitch, and it's 
Hit in the air to right field. Over is the uh, right fielder on the move, and he can't make the play. Misplays it in right field. Corbin motoring into second base. Here comes Proctor headed home as the ball gets away, and he's going to score on that one. The Rebels lead 1-0. A high fly ball to right. Uh, Camacho was over there and uh, just misplayed it. So the uh, Rebels score a run and have a runner at third base. First pitch here, adding first baseman Easton Ford. Ford with uh, RBI opportunity. And that one fouled off. Two and one the count to Easton. And oh, a box called. So a box called, and Corbin will score on the box. It's 2 nothing. So Silo already out in front, 2-zip. Here in the bottom of the uh, first inning, nobody out. Pitch to Ford is low for a ball. So that uh, wiped out Easton's chance for an RBI. And he's going to hit one high in the air. It's over the head of the uh, center fielder, off the wall. Nearly went out of the park on that drive to deep center. Easton Ford with a double off the wall, and the Rebels have another base runner. Second hit of the uh, contest. A deep drive. The wind blowing out here stayed in the park. Next batter is the designated hitter, Delton Roberts. First pitch to Roberts is upstairs for a uh, ball. And the uh, relentless silo offensive attack uh, continues on here this afternoon. Already two runs in as that pitch catches the inside corner. That one misses outside to uh, Roberts. Count now two and one. Pickoff attempt at uh, second is unsuccessful. Three and one now the uh, count to uh, Roberts, and that pitch is fouled. Runs it full to uh, Delton. Rebels already with two in. That one's going to be hit off the right side, foul and out of play. As Roberts hangs in there. Facing Lane Franklin. The pitch is hit high in the air. Right center field. May split the gap, and it will. Goes all the way to the uh, wall there. Roberts going to be in with a stand-up double. Ford motoring home, and around third, he's going to score. And it's a RBI double from uh, Delton Roberts. Split the gap out in right center. Hung up there for quite a while, but... The outfielder is unable to make a play on it. So back-to-back -back doubles. Next batter, pitcher, Tegan Connery. Rebels have scored three runs. Ford and Roberts with back-to-back -back doubles to the wall. And the first pitch is a, a ball to Connery. Connery. 
Wind blowing out here this afternoon out to uh, center and right field <clears throat> as that one high for ball two. A look at second and the pitch home. And it's in there for a uh, strike. Next one's bunted by Connery. Good bunt. Nobody home there. Third baseman has to come in and field it, but no chance to get the uh, speedy Connery, and he's on with the bunt single. A bunt single. Roberts advances to third. Runners at the corners. Next batter, right fielder, Mason Urbany. Urbany's up. The uh, junior had a couple of hits yesterday. And he's going to swing on the uh, first pitch. It's driven to deep left field, high in the air, hangs up there, and it's caught. But Roberts is going to tag and easily score on the uh, sacrifice fly. It's four zip. So the deep fly ball to uh, left scores Roberts. Next batter is the left fielder, Connor Cordell. Here's a pickoff try at first base, unsuccessful. First out of the inning, one down, <coughs> four runs in. The pitch home, and it's low to uh, Cordell. And there's a uh, strike called. <clears throat> one and one the count. Runners on the move. Swing and a miss by Cordell. The throw to second base. And, oh, he's called out. Called out at uh, second. And the uh, pitch was swung on and missed. Connery is thrown out at second base. Looked like he was there ahead of the uh, tag. Two down. This pitcher's going to step off here. Pitch home. Swung on and missed for strike three. And uh, the uh, Rebels... Are retired in the uh, first, but not before they score four runs on four hits in the bottom of the uh, first inning. Two errors, and nobody left on base. We head to the second inning, and it's silo four, and Wilberton nothing. So after scoring uh, 11 and 13 runs in a pair of run rule wins yesterday, the uh, Rebels off and running once again. Just one inning uh, in yesterday's doubleheader where the uh, Rebels held scoreless and already a four spot in the first Leading off for Wilberton, first baseman Braden Miller. Yeah. 
Pitch was a ball there. 1-0. and And a strike called. Kind of even at 1-1 one and one, uh, to uh, Miller. Next one, that's going to hit the dirt, bounce over the head of uh, Trout to the uh, backstop. Two one the count. And that one misses outside. Three one to the uh, Wilberton leadoff batter here in this inning, and there's a pitch that the uh, batter Miller just gets a piece of. Foul ball. Moves the count full. Here comes the uh, payoff pitch from Tegan. Swung on, ground ball. Nice hop to uh, the shortstop, Proctor. And he's going to field it on the move and makes the throw to uh, first base for the out. On the grounder, out at first, Proctor to Ford. There's one gone. Now batting center fielder, J.J. Justice. So Justice steps in, and he takes a strike. Next pitch from Connery, and it's caught late and just foul up the uh, first baseline. Ford was over given chase, but in foul ground. So uh, Connery quickly ahead. 0-2, oh, the uh, count here. Next pitch, swing and a miss. That one was upstairs and got him to chase. Now batting designated hitter, Bryce James. So Bryce James to uh, bat for the uh, first time, the D.H., and he'll take a strike. As Tegan pumps it in there. Here's the next one, and it's swung on, grounded foul. Up the uh, third baseline. And 0-2 the count. Here's the next one way upstairs for a ball. Chilly day at the uh, ballpark here uh, this afternoon. The uh, north wind blowing, and there's a swing and a miss for strike three, and that'll end the inning. For the uh, diggers in the uh, second, three up, three down once again. 13 pitches for Connery in that frame. We go to the bottom of two, silo four, and Wilberton nothing. Here we go to the uh, bottom of inning two, and it's uh, Will Farr, the uh, second baseman, to uh, lead things off here. 
against Lane Franklin, who threw 30 pitches in the first. And first toss here is inside. There's one swung on, hit into left field, base hit. Going to fall in front of the uh, left fielder. And far is on with the uh, leadoff single. That fly ball to left. Bottom of the order, it's uh, the nine-hole hitter. Batting center fielder, Xander Marshall. So uh, Marshall. Up here, 1-0 oh the count. Runner at first, and that one swung on. It's hit in the air to left field once again. That one may fall, and it will. As that one's going to fall in front of the uh, left fielder. Almost identical play, but just a little bit further toward left center from uh, far as just moments ago. So back-to-back -back hits, back to the top of the order. Batting is the shortstop, Kyler Proctor. Rebels already have six hits this afternoon. And that one's going to uh, drop in there for a strike to uh, Proctor. Two runners aboard. That one's inside. Count even at one and one to uh, Kyler. He had a hit in the uh, first inning. And he's going to swing on this one. It's hit high in the air to center. The center fielder's there to make a play. Farr is going to tag it second and advance on to a third without a throw. As that one was hit to pretty deep center field on that fly out by uh, Proctor. One down. Next batter is the third baseman, Chase Corbin. So Proctor flies out. Here's the uh, a ball. A runner stealing. Marshall steals second. Farr is going to come home on the throw to second. And the uh, Rebels pick up another run. Pitch was a ball to uh, Corbin. And there's another one inside. So a couple of steals for the uh, Rebels. Five zip here with one out. They've tacked on a run here in the uh, second. And Corbin takes that one low. Three and oh the count. <laughs> If Chase has the uh, take here on 3-0, here's a pickoff try at second base, and Marshall's going to be picked off at second. Nice uh, play uh, by the uh, Diggers on the uh, pickoff attempt. Marshall caught by surprise. He's picked off on that 3-0. And there's a strike called. So nobody on now. Swing and a miss by Corbin. He went after that pitch. A little bit low. Appeared. And a foul ball. Here's the next one. It's upstairs. Ball four. Corbin draws the walk. Next batter is the first baseman, Easton Ford. Diggers with uh, one pivotal uh, district uh, doubleheader still remaining with Panama here uh, later on this week. 
Franklin, their number two guy on the uh, mound. Uh, they were going to try to hold him around 50 pitches. He already at 44. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Hit. Smashed at the third baseman who uh, drops it for a second, but he's going to throw over and get to Easton Ford at first base. That one was a bullet. Miller had to pop out of his glove, but uh, still he was hit hard enough that uh, he was uh, still able to uh, make a play on it for the uh, final out of the inning. So Easton is retired, a run on two hits. And a man left for uh, Silo in the uh, second. It's now five zip as we head to the uh, third inning. Mentioned Wilberton uh, still with a pivotal district uh, doubleheader coming up with uh, Panama still uh, in this week. Diggers have to win that one to uh, win that uh, series to uh, be assured of uh, hosting by district playoff next week. Finishing uh, in the top four in the uh, district. Ralph Camacho will uh, lead things off. Adding first, the third inning for Wilberton, right fielder Ralph Camacho. Here's a foul ball. There's a strike called. <clears throat> oh, and two the count. And the next one's called strike three on the outside corner. First batter retired. Brings up the second baseman, Garrett Clawson. Clawson batting now with one out. And he'll take a strike. Tegan feeling good this afternoon. 23 pitches thus far here in the uh, third inning. Being pretty efficient. 0 oh 2 the count. Here's the next one. And that one. Upstairs, try to get him to chase that one. A foul ball off the uh, right side, not a play. Here's the next one. Check swing, and he went around for strike three. Two strikeouts, two outs in the inning. Batting with two outs, left fielder Nate Harkins. So Harkins to bat for the uh, first time, and he'll take a strike. Here's the next one, swing and a miss. So 0 and 2 already the count here with two outs. And that one just misses outside. Connery bidding for a third straight, three up, three down inning. Here's the pitch. And it's just outside 2 2.
The next one, and that's called strike three on the outside corner. So Connery does strike out the side in the third. The diggers are retired. No runs, no hits, nobody left. We head to the bottom of inning three. It's side of five, and Wilberton nothing. Four, five, and six hitters do up for uh, Silo here in the bottom of inning three. Delton Roberts to uh, lead it off. He had a double. And the his first at bat. And he's going to take that pitch outside for a ball. That one lofted into left center. It's going to fall just over the head of the uh, shortstop, and Roberts has his second hit of the game. Another leadoff hit for the uh, Rebels. That's three straight innings. They've got the leadoff guy on via hit. Now batting pitcher, Tegan Connery. Connery takes low for a ball. The new pitcher is Braden Miller, this inning for Wilberton. And he'll fire one in there for a uh, strike as Tegan squares and pulls back. 101 the count. Roberts at first. Here's the pitch. It swung on. It's popped up on the infield. Shortstop Camp under it, and he'll make the play is Mathis for out number one. Hagan pops out to the shortstop. Now batting right fielder Mason Urbany. So Urbany back up, and he'll take a strike. Next one uh, catches the outside corner. Urbany had a sacrifice fly back in the uh, first, scored a run. He's down on the count 0-2. Chokes up on the bat. It's going to swing, and it's popped up. Shallow center field coming in as the uh, center fielder, and uh, barely makes that catch is uh, Miller, Jordan Miller in center. But Urbany is retired. Two down. Connor Cordell batting. Now batting is the left fielder, Connor Cordell. A balk is called. Roberts is going to move on down to uh, second base in scoring position. Two outs in the inning. Rebels 
Looking for a hit here to keep their uh, string alive of scoring in every inning. And Cordell takes a uh, strike. Roberts, now at second base, he's going to steal third. He was on the move. They weren't paying much attention to him at uh, second, and uh, the ball also trickled away from the uh, catcher. No chance at third, so he's 90 feet away. Here's the pitch. Swung on, ground ball, chopper on the left side. Fielded by Mathis on the move, and he'll throw out Cordell at first base. And uh, the uh, Rebels are retired without scoring for the first time in an inning today on that ground out. No runs, a hit, and a man left. We go to the fourth inning. With Silo on top, five zip. Back to the uh, top of the order for the uh, diggers here in the uh, fourth. And the first pitch swinging, and it's hit just past Corbin down the left field line. Could be extra bases. Here comes a throw into second base, tagged by Farr, and he's out. Nice play by the left fielder. Connor Cordell comes up with it quickly, and he rifles one in. To uh, second, and Will Farr tags him out, attempting to go for the uh, double. Next batter is the catcher, Aubrey Runkle. The one down, but he did get a hit on that one. And a called strike. And another called strike. So one and two the count. To Runkle, the uh, catcher. Here's one hit. Ground ball left side. Fielded nicely on the move by Corbin. And he's going to make the throw to first for the out. Runkle's retired. There's two down. Now batting is the shortstop, Grayson Mathis. We're in the uh, top of inning four here. Silo with a 5 nothing lead. Scored four runs on four hits in the uh, first inning. Here's a uh, chopper left side. On the move. Here's... Proctor with the throw and in time to get the out. So uh, a quick inning in the uh, top of the fourth. For the Diggers, no runs, a hit. Nobody left on. Seven pitches for uh, Connery in that inning. And we go to the bottom of four. Rebels still with a five-zip lead.
Bottom of the uh, fourth inning coming up. Rebels at 8-9-1 and one in the order. Same spot they were to uh, begin the uh, second inning, and uh, they got a pair of leadoff hits. <clears throat> See what they can do here. Scored a run in the uh, second, took advantage of those uh, two singles to uh, start the frame. Leading off is the second baseman, Will Farr. Farr takes the uh, first pitch outside for a ball. That one popped in the air, right side. Off the end of the bat, and the uh, first baseman over to his right is going to make the catch. Just barely got a piece of that one, but too much in uh, fair territory on the uh, pop out to justice. One down. Adding a center fielder, Xander Marshall. Marshall hitting now. As the first pitch to him was a ball. The next one is a called strike. That one pulled foul <coughs> by Xander. One and two the count. And there's a check swing. They say he went around as Marshall's tagged out for out number two. So Miller has come on for the uh, Diggers here in the um, last two innings. Held the uh, Rebels scoreless thus far. Adding shortstop, Kyler Proctor. First pitch to Proctor was a ball. Now, well, take time at the uh, plate here. And that one's upstairs. 2-0 the count to uh, Proctor. Rebels scored five in the first two innings, but have uh, not scored since. And that one low, ball three. Being careful with uh, Proctor here. And he'll take that pitch on 3-0. For a strike. Here's the next one from Miller, and it's a called strike on the inside corner. Runs it full. <coughs> and that one is pulled fire, fair down the uh, left field line. Just stayed inside the uh, bag into the left field corner. Proctor's around second, turn, makes the turn, but going to hold up there as the throw came in before uh, Proctor could advance onto uh, third base. Smash the uh, double right down the uh, left field line that just stayed fair inside the bag. Now batting third baseman Chase Corbin. Here's one pulled foul by uh, Corbin. Next pitch, swung on and missed. <clears throat> that one off speed. Corbin out in front of that one. He's down in the count at 0-2. Looking for a hit to get Proctor home here. 0-2 the count. A look at second pitch home, and that one's fouled at the plate. Miller for Wilberton, towing the uh, rivalry. He's going to step off. <coughs> Look Proctor back. 
And a pretty good lead at second base. Here's the pitch to Corbin. It's hit in the air to right field. Over is the uh, right fielder on the run. He's not going to get there. It's in for extra bases. Here comes Corbin. He's going to try for three. He's motoring into a third base with a stand-up triple. A right fielder was on the run but could not get there to make the catch. Camacho. So Proctor scores. The Rebels tack on. It's 6 nothing. And Easton Ford's going to hit the first pitch, another uh, smash, but at the third baseman who fields it and throws over in time for the out. So the Rebels going to leave a runner on the hard ground out. Sato scores a run on two hits. <clears throat> a man left. We go to the fifth inning. Silo six and Wilberton nothing. Now batting first baseman Braden Miller. So uh, let's see. We've got a, a new center fielder now, as it's going to be Sean Weaver in center field for the uh, Rebels here in the uh, fifth. And the uh, first pitch to Miller is low. A pitch hit in the air. It's Weaver out there. First attempt, and he's going to make the catch. So uh, one or uh, two pitches in and out. Brings up the number 20, J.J. Justice. So Justice to hit now. One gone, and he'll swing on the uh, first pitch. Didn't connect. And that off speed, swing and a miss. Conry's got it working pretty good this afternoon. And it's a called strike three. Two down. Designated hitter, Bryce James. So James to bat. Take pitch low. And that one outside by uh, Connery. 2-0 oh the count. And a called strike on the outside corner from uh, Tegan. 2-1. Thus far, uh, Connery, 47 pitches. Working here in the fifth. And that pitch hit up the middle. It's going to be a base hit into center field. 
second hit of the uh, contest for the uh, diggers here. Going to have a uh, pinch runner. Actually, it's going to be the uh, Jordan Miller, who they were DHing for. Next batter is the right fielder, Ralph Camacho. Swing and a miss by uh, Camacho for strike one. Here's a pickoff try by uh, Connery, but runners back in time. That's Jordan Miller over there. And a strike call. O oh, two. That ball outside. Cool and windy day here at the uh, ballpark. Out of 20 mile an hour north wind. And there's a swing and a miss. Ball gets away from uh, Trout. He's going to uh, toss down to uh, first base and get the final out of the inning. Retired. For the Diggers in the inning, um, no runs, a hit, a man left. Go to the bottom of five. Slotto with a 6 nothing lead. Four, five, and six batters for the uh, Rebels here in uh, inning number five to start things. It's Delton Roberts, and he'll take the uh, first pitch for a ball. Here's the next one from Miller, and it misses. Strike called on the outside corner. And that one is high for ball three. Miller was uh, cruising till uh, two outs in the last inning and gave up back-to-back -back hits to uh, Proctor and uh, Corbin that scored a run. And that's ball four. Now batting pitcher, Tegan Connery. So Tegan to hit now. And he'll take one for a ball.
He checks the runner at first. Pitch is a strike called on the inside corner to Connery. Here come, oh, actually, uh, Miller is going to uh, step off and uh, look the uh, runner back at uh, first base uh, as Roberts was getting a pretty good lead out there. And that ball is low to uh, Tegan. Now two and one the count. Here's the next pitch, and it's a strike called. Roberts on a delay steal, and he's going to swipe the bag at uh, second base. Started late on the uh, delay, but was able to uh, beat the throw. Another stolen base for uh, the uh, Rebels. And a runner in scoring position. Here's the pitch, and that one oh, just misses. Oh, no, actually, it's called a uh, strike. Delayed call there. And Connery is called out on strikes. Adding is the right fielder, Mason Urbany. And Urbany's going to take a uh, pitch inside for a ball. That last steal by uh, Roberts was the uh, fifth of the uh, day for Silo. Strike call. Five today thus far, and they stole, stole 21 yesterday in the uh, doubleheader sweep of Howe. Twelve in the first game, nine in the second. Look at second. Here's the pitch home, and Urban, he's going to hit one on the ground. Failed by the uh, second baseman on the uh, right side. His throw, it gets away from the uh, first baseman. Coming home is uh, Roberts, and he'll score. So Urban, he reaches on an error, and uh, Roberts scores from second on the hard ground ball. Connor Cordell, the next batter. Here comes Urban. He's still in second, and he's safe. Still number six on the day. Batting is the left fielder, Connor Cordell. Cordell's going to square and bunt it, and it's a good bunt fielded by the uh, third baseman who hesitated, and that too long as uh, Cordell was able to uh, reach base. On the bunt single. Going to have a pinch hitter. Pinch hitting for the uh, Rebels. Number 16, Carter Parker. So a bunt single by Cordell. Runners are at the corners with one down. Parker hitting. And he's hit by the pitch. Hit by the uh, first pitch. And we're going to have a pinch hitter. Pinch hitting for the uh, Rebels, number 12, Colby Smith. So uh, Smith will now pinch hit. Base is loaded and one out. The uh, freshman Colby Smith at the plate. Rebels up 7 nothing. They got a chance to end it in this inning on the run roll. 
Here's the pitch, and it's low. Next one is uh, in the dirt, ball two. Here's the 2-0, and it's taken for a uh, strike. Two on the count. Runners in at the corners, and Smith will take that one for strike two. Miller's next pitch. It swung on, popped up. Infill fly called there. It's caught for out number two, and there's two away. Next batter is the shortstop, Kyler Proctor. So it's going to be up to uh, Proctor now. Rebels trying to end it after five on the uh, run roll. And Proctor will take a strike with the bases loaded. And two down. That one high for a ball. It's the pitch from Miller, and that's inside, nearly hit him. Two and one. That one. Right on the outside corner for strike two. Counts even to uh, Proctor. And the next one swung on. It's hit in the air right field. Going back, still going, and it's out of here. A grand slam. A walk-off grand slam by Connor Proctor. Opposite field grand slam, and the uh, Rebels win it 11 nothing. A walk-off grand slam by uh, Connor Proctor. And that ends game one with the final of Silo 11 and Wilberton 0. Take a look real quick at the uh, final numbers. Tegan Connery goes the uh, distance all five innings to uh, pick up the uh, win on the mound. He allowed no runs, two hits, struck out seven, didn't walk a batter as he picks up the uh, pitching win. And then at the plate, let's see, uh, Connor Proctor, he has three hits, a including a uh, three hits, a single, a double, a home run, and Proctor drives in four, as well as scoring three runs in the uh, contest. Uh, Delton Roberts with two hits, including a double and an RBI. Um, Eleven hits total for the uh, Rebels as uh, Chase Corbin, Easton Ford, Tegan Connery, Connor Cordell, Will Farr, and Xander Marshall all had single hits as well for the uh, Rebels. 11 nothing is the uh, final in game one. We'll have the uh, second game for you coming up here in about 20 minutes as the uh, Rebels try to finish off district play with a perfect 14-0 record. As they uh, pick up now win number 16 in a row with that victory in game one. 16th straight win for the Rebels. 
Eleven nothing over Wilberton. Thank you. 
seven 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 color I think you get twelve oh, after you yeah. really have seven <laughs> so jewelry oh yeah jewelry 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 and so I'll trade those in yes <laughs> yes <laughs> yes he told me I'll shoot purple as soon as he did that wasn't purple was it that's what it was it's gonna be loud as soon as he got loud <laughs> you just get dropped by this guy Bob <laughs> Thank you. 
Back ready to go for uh, game two here. This uh, district doubleheader. Solid Rebels TV as a defensive lineup for the Rebels in game two. Easton Ford is going to get the start on the mound. In the field, uh, Chase Corbin at third, Kotler Proctor at short. Carter Parker is the second baseman. Delton Roberts at first. Josh Trout behind the plate. Xander Marshall in left. Tegan Connery in center. And Mason Urbany in right field. Waiting off for Wilberton. Shortstop Lane Franklin. Well, Franklin, the uh, first batter to face Easton Ford. Easton making his uh, first appearance in a while on the uh, mound. As that first pitch was a ball. Here's the next one. It swung on and it's fouled back and out of play. Let's see. Easton's last outing on the mound came against Tushka. Pitched two innings in relief against Tushka and picked up the uh, save back on April the uh, 5th as that pitch swung on. And hit in the air, left field, nice play, running catch in left. That's Xander Marshall on the run, makes the catch for out number one. As Franklin gave it a ride, but Marshall with the uh, nice play. So there's one down. Next batter's the catcher, Aubrey Runkle. So Runkle to hit, he'll swing and miss on the uh, pitch from Ford. Now the uh, first pitching appearance for uh, Ford in a couple of weeks here. And that one's fouled off by Runkel. Let's see, on the uh, season coming in, Easton had 14 and a third innings. This will be his seventh appearance, his third start. He's 3-0 and with the uh, save. Allowed five runs, 11 hits, struck out 16, walked four. Here's a ground ball to short. Up with it is Proctor. He'll throw over and just in time to get Runkle, who was pretty swiftly down the line. So they out at first. Proctor to Roberts. There's two down. Next batter is the pitcher, Grayson Mathis. Here's the pitch. Fouled. Back uh, to the uh, screen, pulled foul. Next one is low for a ball. One and one. The pitch gets away from uh, Trout to the uh, backstop. Easton with a 1.95 ERA coming in. And a strike call. Count even a 2 2 to uh, Mathis, the three hole hitter for uh, Wilberton. And that breaking pitch in the dirt. Blocked by Trout. 
It's a full count. Matheson's going to take time. Now he's ready to go. Here comes the pitch from Easton, and it is low for ball four. So the walk brings up first baseman Braden Miller. Well, Miller, who finished the uh, last game on the uh, mound, and he'll take a strike. A two-out walk issued by Ford. Here's the next one, and I could check swing, and they held up one and one. Here's a pickoff try by Ford. Gets away from uh, Roberts to the uh, fence. Runner's going to advance on on the uh, errant pickoff attempt. So a runner in scoring position for Wilberton. One of the few times today. Not sure if they had uh, one in scoring position in the uh, first game, and that one's chopped foul. One and two the count. Here's the pitch from Easton, and it's foul. Here's the next one. It's uh, popped up. Shallow right field racing out as Parker can't get there. It drops in. Here's the throw it home from Urbany. And the runner retreats back to uh, third base. Parker was given chase and shallow right field couldn't get there. Urbany fielded it on a hop. Going to be a base hit. Brings up the center fielder, J.J. Justice. Oh, Justice to hit. And that pitch in the uh, dirt from Ford. Runner at third has to hold up as Trout blocked it and deflected it. Uh, didn't get far enough away, but the runner at first advances down on the wild throw. Here's a swing and a miss. One and one. The pitch home. Another one swung on a miss for strike two. <clears throat> so Ford ahead in the count at one and two. The diggers are threatening with two runners in scoring position. That ball is a called strike. Gets away from the catcher to the uh, backstop, but the, the batter gives himself up, heads to the uh, dugout, and it's out number three. Four Wilberton in the uh, first. No runs, a hit, an error, and two left. Thank you. 
Tyler Proctor to uh, lead things off, and he uh, takes a strike. Here's the uh, next one. It's drilled into left field for a base hit. So the uh, line drive single, adding as the Third baseman, Chase Corbin. That pitch is high for a ball. Here's a pickoff. It gets away on the uh, throw to first base. Proctor motoring around second. He's headed to third, and he will be up safely on the... Uh, Errant pickoff attempt. Here's the one oh pitch, and it's upstairs for a ball. It's a called strike, two and one. And another one, breaking ball, drops in there for strike two to Corbin. Proctor 90 feet away at third base. Here's one yanked foul by uh, Corbin. Here's one, gets away from the uh, catcher, a wild pitch, and that's going to allow Proctor to score from uh, third base. <clears throat> Three and two the count now. Full count. Payoff pitch, it's drilled into a line drive into left field, almost the same spot as Proctor's, and uh, Corbin is on via a hit as well. <laughs> now batting pitcher, Easton Ford. Follow already out to a one nothing lead. Here's Ford, and he's going to smash one, but right at the shortstop. Here's a throw to uh, first, trying to double up um, Corbin. He's back in safely, but, man, that was a missile right at the uh, shortstop. Franklin pretty much had to catch that one in self-defense.
Throw was, pitch was wide. Corbin's going to steal the bag. On that one, 1-0 one oh the uh, count. Delton Roberts, the uh, batter. So Corbin with the, uh, another stolen base. Batting his first baseman, Delton Roberts. That pitch misses. And that one way inside. Clips Roberts. And he's hit by the uh, 3-0 pitch. Next batter is the center fielder, Tegan Connery. Connery squares. He bunts one toward the uh, third baseline. Pitcher over, fields it, and the throw is going to be in time to get uh, taken just barely at first base. So two outs in the inning. And Mason Urbany, the uh, right fielder, hits the ground ball to short. Here's the throw over and not in time. Urbany quickly down the line, and Franklin didn't get rid of it quick enough, and there goes Urbany. He's going to uh, dive into second base. He's safe. As that throw uh, got, got away after the uh, hit there, batting is the catcher, Josh Trout. So Urbany beats the throw on the infield single. Here's a base hit up the middle by Trout. Robert scores. Here comes Urbany headed home, and he's going to beat the throw. A two-run single by Josh Trout. And here comes Pinch running, number 25, Ethan Wilkerson, the uh, courtesy runner. Next batter is the second baseman, Carter Parker. That pitch by Parker drilled into left field for a base hit. Batting number six, Xander Marshall. So Marshall takes a uh, strike. It's 4 nothing already. There's a ball. Should have been rapid-fire offense here for the uh, Rebels in the opening inning. And Marshall, the uh, ninth batter to hit, 2-1 and one to count. A look at second. Here's the uh, pitch home. It's hit ground ball to uh, short. One hopper, the throw over, and they're going to get Marshall. Franklin makes the play. That one pretty well hit by uh, Marshall, but right at the uh, shortstop. So the out at first is recorded, and that ends the inning. Four silo, four runs, five hits, an error, and two left. It's 4 nothing. Rebels after one one. Uh, inning.
Head to inning number two, the uh, Rebels up four zip. Easton Ford back out there on the mound. And the uh, first pitch, swing and a miss. Designated hitter, Bryce James. Here's the 0-1 from Easton, and it's hit. Two hopper on the uh, ground. Proctor stumbles a little bit, but... He's got plenty of time to throw over and get the out. Proctor to uh, Roberts. Brings up the right fielder, Colton Fight. Oh, Fight to hit for the uh, first time. And there's a uh, pitch swung on a miss. 0 oh, 1 the count. Next one, Ford rocks and fires, and another called strike. And there's strike three, another swing and a miss. Two down. Now batting second baseman, Garrett Clawson. The eighth batter in the order for Wilberton to hit against Easton Ford. The uh, sophomore, after a little bit of a shaky start, started to find his rhythm here in the uh, second inning, his first uh, mound appearance in about two weeks. And that pitch just misses inside. 2-0. and Here's the next one, and, well, just as I say that, he goes 3-0 and to the uh, batter. Rebel strike for four in the uh, first, and a uh, strike is called. Three and one. And that one misses low for ball four. Second walk issued by uh, Easton. Now batting left fielder, Troy Clark. So Clark to hit for the uh, first time today. And he'll take a strike. Rebels won the first game 11 nothing. We're in the uh, top half of inning number two. Here in the second as a swing and a miss. Count 0-2. And that one just misses outside for a ball. <clears throat> and there's a swing and a miss. Clark goes down swinging. And the uh, Diggers are retired in the second. No runs, no hits. A man left. Go to the bottom of inning two. Saddle up four, zip.
Here we go to uh, the uh, bottom of inning two, top of the order up. Leading off for Silo, shortstop, Kyler Proctor. So Proctor to a bat here, and there's a, a big swing and a miss on the uh, first one. Proctor had a sharp single his first time up. <coughs> Kick-started things back in the uh, first inning as the uh, Rebels sent nine batters to the plate. One to one the count here. And there's a strike taken off speed. Catches the inside corner. Here's the one-two delivery. It's hit on the ground. Ground ball to third. Fielded there. Throw over high, and it's going to draw the uh, first baseman off the bag. On the throw from Jordan Miller, Proctor reaches on the air on the high throw from Miller. Next batter is the third baseman, Chase Corbin. So the Rebels have the uh, leadoff aboard again here in the uh, second. Corbin squares. Proctor still in second. He slides in safely and head of the uh, tag. So Proctor picks up a uh, stolen base. Here's the next pitch to uh, Corbin, and it's outside. For a ball. Three and oh now the count. Let's see, that was uh, stolen base number 22 on the uh, season for Proctor. And Corbin's going to take that pitch for a strike. There's one upstairs, and Corbin draws the a walk. So two aboard. Now batting pitcher Easton Ford. Easton steps to the plate, chance to do some damage again here, and he will take a strike. He hit a missile at the uh, shortstop his last time. Runners on the move, pitching the uh, dirt, and they're going to steal. So Proctor and Corbin both add to their team leading stolen base totals. Runners at second and third. Pitch to Ford is downstairs for a ball. Let's see, Easton. Now three and Oh, or three and one, the uh, count to uh, Ford. That pitch was a ball. The next one, way outside. They didn't give Easton anything to hit there, and that's going to bring up next batter. Designated hitter, or the, excuse me, the uh, first baseman, Delton Roberts. Courtesy runner at first base, number 14, Connor Cordell. So Cordell running at first. Roberts takes high for a ball. Rebels threatening to uh, break this uh, wide open. Already four in the uh, first. 
And the pitch is fouled, back and out of play. Nelton has upped his average now, 447 on the uh, season. He's got 26 RBIs. Chance to add to that total right here. Here's the 1-1. It's swung on. It's hit high in the air to uh, center field. Over to his left, the center fielder can't make the play. It's going to fall in. Around third, Corbin's going to try to score, and he will score without a throw. So the uh, fly ball sacrifice fly to uh, center. Reaches on the air. We got a pitching change. Justice makes the air in center. <coughs> Proctor scores. Corbin scores. Cordell made it all the way to third base. It's six nothing, and a pitching change. Let's see, the uh, new pitcher is going to be Garrett Clawson. So Roberts reaches on the uh, error on the uh, sacrifice fly. Rebels up 6 nothing. Still nobody out here in the uh, second inning. Let's see, uh, Clawson is the uh, new pitcher. Let's see who goes to uh, second base. Looks like it's going to be Miller at uh, second. Franklin's going to move to third. And Math is back to uh, short as the uh, pitch is a uh, strike call. Adding center fielder, taking Connery. That pitch high for a ball. Roberts is going to steal second. One and one the count. That one's drilled back up the middle for a base hit into center. Cordell's going to score. Roberts is going to hold at third base. And another base hit. Next batter is the right fielder, Mason Urbany. So Urbany to hit. Still nobody out. 7 nothing. It's the pitch to Urbany as a ball. Two and zero the count. And that one's gonna be fouled. And there's one smash right at the shortstop, but no chance at second base. As uh, Connery was able to scramble back. So the line out to short. And 
And Trout's the batter. Now batting catcher, Josh Trout. First pitch was a ball. And he's going to hammer that one foul. Down in the left field corner. Next one way outside. Rebels cruise to a 11 to nothing run roll win in the first game and already up 7 nothing here in the uh, second of game 2. As that one high for ball 3. It's the uh, final district 2A8 contest. And the 3-1 pit, pitch hit high in the air, right center field and the Digger outfielders are not going to get there. Trout cruises into second base with a stand-up double, and two runs are going to score. A two-run double by Trout. Roberts and Connery score. Now batting second baseman, Carter Parker. Still one out, and it's nine zip. That ball's hit high in the air, skied on the infield, popped up by uh, Parker for out number two. Wilkerson running at uh, second base. Next batter, number six, Xander Marshall. That pitch high for a ball. Marshall, the uh, nine-hole hitter. There's two outs in the inning. And he'll foul this one off the right side, not a play. One-on-one the count. A look at second, pitch home, and it's outside from McClawson, the uh, second pitcher of the contest for Wilberton. 2-1 delivery, and that one misses outside, 3-1. and one. Top of the Rebel order awaits on deck once again. And there's a strike call. Pitch misses uh, behind him, or actually catches Marshall for the uh, hit by pitch. He's on base. Now batting shortstop, Kyler Proctor. Proctor back up now, and he will take the first one high. There's one skied high, deep left field by Proctor. Over as the left fielder. He's not going to be able to make the play. Had a beat on it, but uh, couldn't make the catch. It's going to drop in. It's 11 nothing. Both runners score. Now batting third baseman, Chase Corbin. Proctor's going to steal third. as nobody even paying attention to him out there. Corbin's going to hit this one. High in the air, shallow center field. Coming in, the center fielder makes the catch. They're going to call him out. As the uh, ball dropped out, but they're going to call Corbin out to end the inning. 
Rebel scores seven in the uh, second. It's now 11 nothing. Three nothing the uh, lead or eleven nothing the uh, lead is the third inning number three and back to the uh, top of the uh, Wilberton order batting number seven Lane Franklin Franklin playing third base now Ford back out there on the uh, mound. And Franklin's going to pull that one foul. Thus far, Easton has faced nine batters. No runs, a hit. Struck out three, walked two. And that pitch is low for a ball. Here's the next offering, and it's high for ball two. Silo uh, bidding for uh, their 14th district win. Finished district play, a perfect 14-0 and with the win here. And all but one have come via our run rule. The only one not a run rule in district play was a 7 nothing win at Panama in game two of that doubleheader. Two to the count. The pitch home. Strike three call. Now batting the catcher, Aubrey Runkle. And the uh, pitch to uh, Runkle. First offering is low for a ball. Here's the next one from Ford, and it's pulled foul toward the uh, Rebel dugout. Rebels wrapped up uh, the district title yesterday and just trying to finish it off with a, a perfect record here today. Pitch was high, two and one. And the next one, swing and a miss. Evens it up at 2-2. Two -two. To uh, Aubrey Runkle, the uh, catcher. Yes. It's a swing and a miss on that ball in the uh, dirt. Uh, Trout comes out with it, throws, out to, uh, throws him out at first base on the uh, pitch in the dirt, swinging. So there's two down. Next batter, number three, Grayson Mathis. And Mathis will swing and miss on that offering from Easton. Now 
Here's the next one, and it's in the dirt. Five. That was the uh, fifth strikeout by Ford. One one the count. Foul ball to the backstop. One and two. And that one in the dirt as uh, the uh, batter math has just barely held up. Count even at two and two. Next offering, it's called strike three. Easton with his sixth strikeout of the uh, game in three innings. We head to the bottom of three. It's the Rebels 11 nothing. Easton Ford to uh, start the uh, third inning. And he'll take a ball. And the next one, it's hit into left field for a base hit. Easton with the, uh, another hit. That hard uh, ground ball through the hole. Courtesy runner at first base, number 14, Connor Cordell. Next batter is the first baseman, Delton Roberts. So Cordell to run at first. Roberts takes outside for a ball. Let's see. Um, that one is inside for a ball. Nine hits in the game for the uh, Rebels. 11 runs on nine hits. That one is high for ball three. And that one in the dirt. Ball four. Roberts walks. Now batting center fielder, Tegan Connery. So Connery to hit with nobody out. So Rebels on their way to their 17th straight win. And there's a balk. I think the, I don't know if the pitcher didn't think the catcher was ready or what, but he was in his motion home and then just stopped all of a sudden. So the runners advance. Connery takes outside for ball one. We got time called, and we're going to have a pinch runner. Here's the pitch home, and 
to Tegan. It's low. Connor Cisco is the uh, runner at second. Here's a uh, ball line down the uh, left field line for a double for uh, Connery. Two runs are going to score. He's going to try to stretch it to three. Here comes Tegan into third with a triple. As that one was smashed down the uh, left field line into the corner. So two runs score. It's 13 nothing. Mason Urbany, the next batter. Now batting right fielder Mason Urbany. That ball's hit high in the air, deep to uh, left field, but right there is the left fielder going to make the catch. Runner will tag and score. It's a sacrifice fly for Urbany, and it's 14 zip. Next batter is the catcher, Josh Trout. Trout hits a ground ball to short. Math is up with it. He'll throw over in time. There's two down. Now batting second baseman, Carter Parker. So Parker hitting. And he'll take a strike. Next one uh, at off speed. Parker out in front of that one as it's one and two. Pitch goes to the uh, backstop. Here's the next one, and it is skied into center field. Racing back to the center fielder. He's not going to get there. It's going to roll to the wall. Parker has two, headed for three, and he's going to be in with a uh, triple. Parker with the triple. Now batting number six, Xander Marshall. So the nine-hole hitter, Marshall, to hit. And we're going to have a pinch hitter, I believe. See who, who will hit here. With two outs in the uh, third inning. Rebels up 14 nothing. Looks like it's going to be Connor Cordell to hit for Marshall. Pinch heading number 14, Connor Cordell. Cordell will swing and foul the uh, first pitch out of play. Here's the next one. It's upstairs for a ball. And that one will be uh, fouled off. Ball skied into uh, left center field. Over is the uh, center fielder to his right, and he's going to make the catch for the uh, final out of this third inning. 
Lalo Tex on three more runs on three hits. A man left. After three complete, it's Silo 14. Wilberton nothing. Fourteen nothing here in the uh, fourth inning as a uh, new pitcher on for the uh, Rebels, Carter Parker. And a new catcher, it's Sawyer Reddick behind the plate. A couple other uh, defensive changes as uh, over those here in just a second. Batting is the first baseman, Braden Miller. Miller takes outside for a ball. Here's a ground ball chopper on the left side. Colby Smith, the new shortstop, up with it. His throw over is uh, not in time. Waited back on that one a little bit. Now batting center fielder, J.J. Justice. Delton Roberts is the uh, new uh, second baseman. That ball was fouled. Here's a pickoff attempt and not in time. Easton Ford is uh, moved to uh, first base. Here's the pitch from Parker and it's inside. To the batter, J.J. Justice. Next one, swing and a miss. Heading the count at one and two. And that one outside. Swing and a miss on that 2-2 uh, breaking ball, and there's one out. Next batter's designated hitter, Bryce James. James will take low for a ball. And that ball's hit in the air. Shallow left field is going to drop in. Marshall comes running in. He's throwing to first, and he's going to get the out. <laughs> A 
pop fly to uh, left field, and uh, the uh, ball is out. Don't see that very often. Uh, left field to first base on the uh, put out. That pitch fouled off. Here's the one two pitch, it's high. And the next one is uh, fouled off and out of play on that 2-2. Colton fight the batter. A pitch from Parker. It's hit on the ground. Coming in, Smith on the move. He'll throw and in time to get the out. And I think that's going to be it. On the ground out to a third to end it, and it will be a run roll. 14 nothing is the uh, final. The Rebels finish district play 14-0, 13 coming via run rolls as they wind up undefeated in District 2A8. Next action scheduled for uh, Friday, a non-district doubleheader with Antlers before next week. To wait on uh, see what the uh, schedule is for uh, next week in a uh, potential by district uh, contest. Looking at the uh, final numbers, let's see. Easton Ford picks up the uh, win. He goes three innings on the uh, mound, and he allowed uh, no runs, one hit, struck out six, walked two. At the uh, plate for Silo this afternoon in game two, they finished with 11 hits uh, leading the way. Kyler Proctor had two hits, single and a double, drove in two. Tegan Connery with two hits, a single and a triple. He drove in three. Josh Trout had two hits, a single and a double. He drove in four. Carter Parker had two hits, a single and a triple. And uh, Chase Corbin, Easton Ford, and Mason Urbany all with one hit in the uh, contest. Rebels pick up their 17th straight win, 27-2 on the uh, season, and uh, finish undefeated in district play with the uh, win this afternoon. 14-0 in game two, 11-0 in game one as they sweep the doubleheader over Wilberton. It's going to about do it. Until next time, our next broadcast will be softball in the district tournament on Thursday afternoon, 12.30, I believe the uh, start time for the uh, Lady Rebels game in the uh, district tournament coming up on Thursday. It's going to about do it. I'm Kevin Farr. Until next time, saying so long from Billy Jack Bowenfield.